least some sort of collateral damage. You get one, if not two of the four. Or you get all four. That works for me too. Oh, Lord. Readings indicate this area is safe. I can't tell. All right, we could get some more tech, but we are way too far away. Let's reload. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We are still in Hell's Kitchen. We were planning on getting out, but as we came over here to finish a uh, side mission, it basically unlocked all the collectibles. So as per usual, we will go collectible uh, diving. Almost said dumpster diving. <laughs> I mean, some of them might be near dumpsters, so. Yeah, we'll see how far we can get through this. All right, so we're gonna go to that one. We'll just. Come on, man. Take a look. Can't go through walls. Yeah, we'll go over here. Hope you guys are having a good week. Hope you also are planning on doing something equally exciting. Are exiting the safe area. On the weekend. Oh, hearing thumping. What is, is that just me? My guy clumsily just knocking everything over. Oh, well. Bound to happen, right? We're bound to start at night. Oh, couple thugs. We be thugging here. I do kind of like the blue area. I don't know why this is so blue. Where did this guy go? Oh, one shot left. <laughs> oh, it just happened to be the area that we have to go to. It's like very blue. I don't think it's because of blue trucks. It's like blue lighting in this area. That just really, really JTF, you're standing right here. I just had to just take out three dudes and you're right here. Oh, it's gonna snowstorm, I have a feeling. It's getting Grand Central Station. There's three of you. Come on, man. <laughs> like why? Why can't any of you lift a finger? Medicine, just a little something I thought I saw a little white line go through my screen. I'll pass this kindness on. I hope you do. Would be rude if you didn't. Alright, so we're approaching our first collectible. And this collectathon. If you're new to the channel, welcome. God has a plan for us. Well, sure, but it's five in the morning. It's later than you think, Gary. Don't you see? The signs are all around. What are you? You're saying this is a God is knocking on your door right now. Are you gonna answer? What? I mean, Luis. Is that you out there? Why is your face covered? Are you sick? It's a test, David. Open the door. No! I can't. I mean, don't you want to know if you've been chosen? Stay alert. Kill him! Oh, I thought there were so many behind me. Oh, he's, oh, he's over there across. The... You don't belong here. He made it sound like he was like standing right behind me. Stop moving. You have no clue where I'm at. I, like got a piece of him there. Missed every other shot though. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw a red circle underneath me. One shot. Let's see if we could do this. Come on, pop up. I'm gone. I'm already down the street at this point. I'm already down the street.
Oh, that didn't blow him up, really? It's like right behind him. That was unnecessarily tedious. <laughs> Just commons. But I guess I got a multi kill out of that. And maybe it's the area, not so much the time you kill people. Because we took our time on the last guy. Maybe I got some, maybe I don't. Let's go to this uh, incident report. Or is it a phone? Looks like a phone. What does be grounded? Hey, honey, how's Lisbon? Wearing thin. Listen, I don't have good news. They've grounded the entire fleet, and it looks like nothing commercial is flying to the USA or Canada. So you're stuck there? Lisa, everyone's stuck everywhere. I don't know how long it'll be before I see you again. But your parents are coming in for Hanukkah this Friday. Are you going to make it home by then at least? I don't know, sweetheart. I promise I'll try. He doesn't sound Jewish at all. Oh, this area is familiar. Here's that, uh, that safe house. Oh, I hear him. Are they inside the tent? Probably on the back end of it. Got them both. Now I could enjoy this survival guide by myself. All right, survival guide, page 12. And nothing else to loot here. Uh, let's go get this one. Guess we'll go up now. He's couple in the corner were a little cumbersome because you can't have to go so far out and then you have to come back where everything else is oh well we'll just mosey on through that's the fun thing about this game is like the world is so interesting looking that i would just i'm i'm fine with not fast traveling everywhere so there's four Oh, one shot. Oh, got him around the ass. Oh, through the windows. Let's load up all our weapons and let's get on. Getting on, getting on. Hotel. See, now we're starting to kind of see areas that we blew through. Give me that. Or that, uh. Screw you. All right. My kid needs food. Just scored big. That we either ran through. <laughs> got distracted with those people. That we ran through or did missions. Or it was at night and we didn't really get to see during the day. So it's nice to kind of see different scenery. Here's a, a big encounter that we were dealing with before. Might have been last episode. I think we were in there. We had like a little mini boss. Yeah, I just, I just think the world, like, I understand the premise and everything was a little bit real the last so many years. But the world building is just way, way absurdly levels of detail. And this game's from, like, 2016. Um, <laughs> I want to shoot off a, a lock over here, like Division 2. But yeah, it's just so much detail that you just kind of 
I don't want to fast travel. I kind of want to soak in everything and just... You kind of miss a lot of it when you're going through missions. Because you're distracted. You're like tunnel vision kind of deal. Like, I would have never seen any of this. Otherwise, you would have just go from mission to mission. And, I mean, I think there's part of it that, like, some people don't like is the whole grind situation. But... I'm fine with stuff like this. Survival guide, page 11. I have no clue the one that we just did. <laughs> I don't remember it at all. Slouchy black hat. Uh. Okay, I guess we just had to get closer. Walking shoes, gray. So we're not going to be able to get that. And I don't think it's in here. Yeah, there's a wall there. So there might be another entrance somewhere into there. Cause it looks like, like I don't think there was a door that we could have gone through. Yeah, I don't think we could go through that door. And that goes nowhere. It's probably a closet because it's a bedroom here. Um yeah, so there's probably like another way of getting into that joint. Well, we'll do this, see if there's like an alleyway. Yeah, here we go. Probably on the ground somewhere here. There it is. Wish list. Damn, these game things are expensive. What's a kid supposed to do with a $400 game box thing anyway? They need something good in their lives, babe. It's been a tough year. I know. Listen, how about you and me? We just give each other cards this year. I mean, do we really need more stuff? Really? I just want a family, honey. Just get your kids to call me mom and I'll be good. <laughs> I think you're going to be Janet for a long while. You don't think this console will do the trick? <laughs> we'll see. Love you, sweet thing. Oh, I like hearing those stories amongst like all the chaos that you get in this game. Good to hear little stories like that, that people are kind of seeing like the positive. If there is any of this whole situation. Oh, this whole loading dock area. God, look at all the freaking detail everywhere. Uh, it's probably not the direction we need to be going. I think we have to go up, but like, you can't just ignore this. Like, look at all of this. It's crazy. How much detail? Whoa, the siren lights. I hear you guys. I hear them too loud to be NPCs. I think they're on the other side of the wall here. It's JTF. They're freaking useless. I don't know how many times we could be in an area and they're just there not doing anything. Oh, this is one of the first areas that we've been to. I feel like this is like a sightseeing tour <laughs> we're on. Here's the, the four hanging, uh, JTF agents. I think they're JTF. Uh, very ominous. The first time we went to Hell's Kitchen. I was like, well, I think it might have been the main mission in this area that we went through. It was not fun. But like right, literally to the right of it, is uh, a whole, just another layer of detail that, again, you wouldn't have seen. Like you wouldn't have seen any of these containers and loading docks and all this. All this stuff would have been lost if you were just kind of grinding through the main mission. But when you kind of slow down and kind of doing other stuff, man, you kind of soak it in a little bit. They're down there, aren't they? Uh, so there's two. And cool. There's three, actually. There's one sitting on a, con on a box, like next to a container. That seems different to me. I've never seen him just kind of relax in there. There's one guy right here. 
when I try to shoot my, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, my sticky bomb, see if I could stick it, like, right there, it would be perfect. I feel like I could get at least some sort of collateral damage. You get one, if not two of the four. Or you get all four. That works for me, too. Oh, Lord. That couldn't have worked at any better. All four of them just kind of sitting here in a little caddy corner. Ah, my stuff is still full. Maybe I could, like, break down things. Yeah, this is going to be the cumbersome part of uh, traveling, being a traveling Rocho. I don't even know why I'm looking for new things. I can't even put the things that I have in here. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's downsize our inventory here. Let's break some things up. 47 that's very low we'll dismantle that all right I got one fabric out of it I don't even know if like I don't I don't think the money's even gonna bother us right now like it's just that like hardly buy anything we pretty much like look how much loot we get I don't think it's that big of a deal right now 42 let's bust that up I like, suppose the gear yeah guns I would probably want to uh, try to flip just because they're worth more unless it's like a super OP type thing what was this like ACR ACP tactical We freed our things a little bit, so we'll just kind of get this survival guide or phone. Is it right here? There it is. Clubbing. You have to come. What's so great about this place? Oh my god, it's incredible. The whole club is like a hospital, and you sit in wheelchairs, and you drink out of IV tubes, and if you want snacks, they bring them to you in bedpans. With everyone getting that flu, that's like in the worst taste ever. Jesus, you are seriously no fun since you hooked up with Max. At least I'm not eating out of bedpans, bitch. Mwah. Well... That was a little childish on both their sides. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to cut this one here and then we'll continue on. God, look at all this detail. This absurd amount of detail. Like everything. Like you can don't even see these things and yet they're still there. Like it's crazy. But uh, anyways, we'll continue going through our, our victory loop of uh, Hell's Kitchen before we... Uh, push forward to I think it's what Lincoln what is it uh, Clinton no somebody somebody's name all right people well have a good weekend and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode all right later